Sir, and welcome to your October of 2020 ASMR Tarot Forecast. This month I decided that I wanted to just go totally ham with the Major Arcana decks. So the first deck I'll be using is the White Witch Tarot. Oh, I hope that wasn't too loud, sorry. decided to just start eating the mic in a lot of my videos. I won't I won't do this only because I know a lot of you have mentioned that you enjoy the videos where I'm talking as well. But um I decided that I would do that for this round of tarot videos so that my voice would be the loudest thing in the video. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Don't forget to watch your other signs. If you have Sun, Moon, and Rising placements that are different.
do these first and then I'm also going to draw some Lenormand cards and the reason for that is that the tarot cards are very good about talking about your spiritual evolution and who you are as a person and all of these higher concepts but the Lenormand is actually really good for pinning down the more mundane aspects like what's going on in your life right now. Um, so I like bringing it all together like that. The first card we have coming out is the world. So there could be an end of a cycle for you. Um, and this card also, she's got like this world is on her back. Whereas a lot of times you get more like the dancing figure. This figure is definitely carrying the world on their back. And there's a lot tied up in that. You know, other people's thoughts, other people's dreams, all of those things. So I'm not saying that there are a lot of burdens in your life right now, but that's definitely implied by the imagery on this card. And then we also had the card that flipped over was the tower card. So then the card that we have for the Egyptian deck is the hermit card. And so between the world card and the tower and the hermit card, it looks to me like the outside world might have gotten to be too much of a strain and you've decided to take a step back. And maybe there was like a tower moment where you went on social media or went outside or something and people were just like, you know, too wrapped up in their own uh, things, and you kind of just withdrew. So this is also about the current situation. This triangulation of cards is all about your current affairs. We have the magician here. So not are you not only are you withdrawing as the hermit card, but I think that there's also a lot of personal development going on right now toward some kind of manifestation. The magician is definitely the manifestation card. And we have the moon card as well. Now, the moon card can be about walking a narrow and obscure path, but it can also be about the arts. So I think for some of you, um, now that you aren't being overly pressured by the outside world, you are working on manifesting a new artistic endeavor, whether it's a musical album or artwork or something like that. But actually, we have coming out the death card. So we got the death card and the tower card in the current situation, which means change for sure. Some kind of big change. Now in the past position, shows 
surprise to me that, like, there was a lot of this, like, masculine, um, rule setting in your past. Whether you're a man or a woman or non-binary, um, that there was an environment in your past that was heavily structured and, uh, High Priest has a lot to do with the status quo and rule, you know, by, um, the virtue of higher power, whereas, like, the Emperor is more, like, rule by birthright, so, like, just all of these, like, really established things. And then, actually, again, we have the Hierophant coming out, so that says to me, like, a lot of preservation of the status quo from your past. And that could be you, or that could be people imposing that on you, and because of the world card we had come out early on, I think it was probably imposed from the outside. Alright, the final card in the current situation, and this card makes a lot of sense, is the Judgment card. And I really like the Judgment card in this deck, because it um, emphasizes this quality of uh, people having eyes on you, and that being a source of judgment. There's, you know, there's of course like the judgment of the self, there is judgment from the outside world, and then there is like that kind of idea of divine judgment and like a final day of rapture or something like that. So all of those are tied up in the meaning of the judgment card, but this one emphasizes this idea of being judged by like a group of your peers. And then, um, this card is super interesting because it's not called Der Toad, which would be like death in German. Um, I'm not really sure what this German word is, but um, they didn't put Osiris on this card. They used actually somebody who I mentioned in the Capricorn crystal scrying from a couple weeks ago, who is the goddess Circuit. And she was one of the funerary goddesses. She has a scorpion on her head. This is the death card for this deck, but it implies more of like this gentle kind of a transition, a healing. She was definitely involved in um, med medicine and um, the magic of healing. So, like, you know, Aset was obviously associated with magic. You have Weretek, Kao, and some other deities like that, but Serket was um, the physician's goddess, and a lot of them had, like, a whole um, method of study that they would do based on her teachings and based on um, being subject to her. Not every physician was like that, but a lot of them did, so it was basically their version of the Hippocratic Oath. So, it implies not just like a transition and a transformation and a change, but also healing. And then again, in this deck, we have the Hermit card coming out. So, I definitely feel like there's a turning within, not just for healing and change, but, um, like, to really understand whatever this is that you're doing, whatever your manifestation is. Excuse me. We have the star card in the future. And the star card is about your public persona. It's about fame. It's about fortune. It's about your higher goals and dreams coming to fruition. 
so I think whatever this is that you're working on right now, it's going to end up coming out like you want it to, at the very least. We also have, we've got the star, we also have the sun. Now the sun is all about balance between masculine and feminine forces. Um, it's about infinity, the future, uh, success, all of these really good things kind of wrapped up into that one concept. And then again, we have the moon card coming out. So I really think for a lot of you cancers, um, for one, the moon card is, or like the moon is native to the sign cancer. The moon rolls cancer. Um, but then also, like, I think a lot of you might be involved in artistic, 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 artistic projects. So like I mentioned, the 
Lenormand is much better at describing our mundane day-to-day -day lives and the actual physical events around these other areas. And that's my favorite thing about working with them. discretion. 
so it might also be like um you know uh americans for example have a really bad reputation as tourists i've heard some not so flattering things about australians as well um and it could be about balancing your excitement about new places uh, with this discretion when you are traveling and i think that is really what's tying the future situation to the goal or destiny because again we had like the devil coming up here and i was talking about that balance between these things so that would make sense Cancer, thank you so much for joining me for your October 2020 ASMR tarot forecast. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please do like, share, subscribe, leave me comments down below if you enjoyed this video. Um, tell your other friends who are Cancers. Don't forget to watch your other signs. These are for Sun, Moon, and Rising placements. I hope that you have a great month of October, and I'll see you again very, very